Hi everyone, we're the Hales, and we are the teachers for CTR6. We'd like to say hello to Addie, Madeline, Sutton, Edwin, and Oliver. We hope to see you guys pretty soon. Let's get started with our lesson. Today's lesson is about a message from an angel of the Lord who visited Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was going to do church, so he needed stuff for the sacrament. And so he was going out, he was going to get um, some wine. We don't use wine today because of the word of wisdom, but this was before the word of wisdom, so they used wine. Today we use water. Back then, they used wine. So he's walking, getting his stuff, and an angel visits him, and he has a special, special message about the armor of God. And this is what the angel said about the armor of God to Joseph Smith. In D&C 27, 15 through 18, it says, Wherefore, lift up your hearts and rejoice, and gird up your loins, and take upon you my whole armor, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all that ye may be able to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace which I have set mine angels to commit unto you. Taking the shield of faith, wherever with ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of my spirit, which I will pour out upon you, and my word which I reveal unto you, and be agreed as touching all things whatsoever ye ask of me, and be faithful until I come, and ye shall be caught up that where I am, ye shall also be. Amen. Here is the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of truth, and our helmet of salvation, and the fiery darts of the adversary that we use our shield of faith against. So how do we put on the armor of God, Sister Hales? Well, we can put on the armor of God every day by saying our prayers, reading our scriptures, attending church, and serving those we love. On my mission, it was sometimes really hard to go out and work because it would be raining or be cold or people just didn't want to listen to me. But my mission president had us read the scriptures every day before we would go out so that we would feel that awesome power that the scriptures have. And I felt like it was like putting on the armor of God. I would read my scriptures, feel good, and feel empowered that I could go out there and preach the word of God. And I know that you guys can do the exact same thing. Every day, read your scriptures, pray with you together as a family and by yourselves, and you will feel the spirit each and every day. I promise you. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll see you all at church. Bye.